Hey everyone! Well, in my last trailer video, I told you guys I was never gonna get tired of filming your great ideas, and so I am back with more. Uh, once again, when I was at the Texas Tiny Trailer Rally hosted by Princess Craft in Austin, Texas, um, not only did I get great accessory ideas, but I also got some really great mods. These mods will take a few tools, a little time, and a little patience, but if you've got all that, you can really customize your tiny home. Hopefully you enjoy. Hey, I'm Todd. Um, this is my mod, it's really simple. Um, it's the first one I've done on the tab. I wanted to be able to have the bed down, but the table up. So like if you're watching a movie or something like that. And what I did was I simply cut a notch in the one slat, so that the table could stay there. Then when you pull the cushions down, they it comes up between the cushions. This is one of the fun things that we did. I went camping with my seven-year-old grandson and he decided we, need, we needed some privacy and he came out of the shower and was a little shy and we talked about it. He goes, Grandma, we need a, we need a curtain. So all I did was I got fabric that was extra long of just a tension rod, but what keeps the tension rod from falling are the command strip tape that's to the wall, and it keeps it from sliding down. Hi, I'm Barbara Williams, and I have a 2008 tab, and um, I had a difficult time accessing the storage underneath uh, the back um, sofa and so I had a cabinet maker make me um, drawers to uh, put there and so it's very long and it, it, it um, copies the curve of the back of the uh, trailer and so I have a lot of storage here uh, I have similar storage on the other side also it doesn't go quite as far back because of the uh, furnace okay uh, my favorite mod is we got rid of the slats in between the that make up the bed uh, we took the galley look out and we made a u-shape and instead of the slats we use boards and i have my folding board and when i make up my bed i just fold it up and put it away and there we have set we have a place to sit that is my favorite modification all right my wife has a cpap that she has to have every night and it was very inconvenient to have it on the shelf back here on the headboard. So I made her a shelf that hangs up with command hooks, the big ones. And it just has a piece of Velcro that runs across the bottom. And these Velcro straps. And it just sits on there. And when it's not being used and we're traveling, it can simply be taken off and stored so it's out of the way. And when you want to put it up, just put it through the holes. You set it up there, and you strap it down. Okay, so I kept losing my low-hanging license plate, so I used some double stick tape and moved it over here. No drilling holes or rewiring electrical or anything else. And that was an easy fix, but at night, or in That's the dark, right. We need we to find a way to light, to light it. it. And we wanted to find an economical way, and one that could help anybody in a pinch that loses their license plate and has to attach it right there. If you stop by any place, they have these little handy flashlights. Sometimes you get them for under a buck. And these things work great. Uh, it's tested, weatherproof and everything. But what you do, see you have a stabilizer down here. And you just put a zip tie right there. And of course we have to take it loose for the, to lower our stabilizer. But carefully installing it right there, sliding it right through. And then it'll aim the light perfectly at the right angle right there where that stabilizer is raised. It shines right there, you're in compliance, you're good to go, and you can keep on trucking. Okay, my favorite mod in the Tada, which is also basically built in the rear or front, the same as the tab, is removing those three little cabinets that were across the back and putting this shelf out. And this shelf is probably about 18 inches deep. It has a lip on it. 
all of the junk you see up there travels just like that. Uh, very seldom do I have anything fall off, but I have everything up here that allows me to travel and camp for months out wherever I'm going. Hi, my name is John and I have a camp-in camper and my favorite addition to the camper is that I installed a Froily system. So it goes under the mattress and it adds a, a level of uh, support and comfort and it also allows me to still get into my under mm -hmm under mattress storage. So we really enjoyed it. Hello, this is Don and Lori. We made an adjustment to the Dometic refrigerator because it just wasn't cooling down to our satisfaction. Lori did a lot of research on the internet and she found out how to uh, cool it down by reducing the temperature of the coils. Now, if you'll take a look right here, we have installed some computer fans, two of them. You can buy actually three of them on a bank if you want, but we bought the, the two set. And the wiring simply goes down to below where it hooks into the standard trailer wiring. And there's wiring diagrams that come with it that show you how to do it. There's also one of these computer fans inside the refrigerator, which cools the condenser coils in there and the, the hot wire to run that one is hooked into the same switch, which is in, inside the trailer, which we installed in there. And we run the wire for it through the drain line to get it down here to hook them all together. And that's, that's it. Um, it brought the temperature of the fridge down about 10 degrees. We have a 320 CSS, it's a 2018 model. One of the things that we've done is we put a light up here. Uh, it's not on right now because it's daytime. And when you open this up, there is a uh, mercury switch right here. Just comes on so that we can see in here. A small light does quite well at nighttime when it's really dark. It helps us quite a bit. Coming down this side, I have a, from the factory when I ordered this thing, uh, we had a light put down here that comes on at night so that we can see what we're doing when we, in the in the nighttime so we can step in and out without hurting ourselves. And then I also had factory put a special switch inside and run power for me so that I can have some nice lighting out here without having to do anything special to hook it up. It stays there all the time going down the road. And then we change this to an amber light instead of a white light. Uh, the white light is awesome, but I didn't need the sun at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, a couple other things we did was we uh, moved our inside lighting that came with the camper out to here so that we have some additional nice lighting out here. And then we also, uh, we're going to make some pies tonight. We also moved some power into here, 12 volt USB and also some 110 plugs. For those of us that have all the crazy things that we need to charge and plug in, I also use this for my CPAP machine. Now I sleep side to side, so my machine is on the inside up on the shelf. And if we ever have to change, I went ahead and made sure it was on this side too. The one of the things that we seem to have today is the need for a lot of power. Another thing I have done in here is put some additional blue dark uh, blue lights uh, with a little small switch right here so that we can uh, have some additional light at night. Uh, we don't have any problems with bugs. They don't seem to, uh, that doesn't seem to attract them at all. So as far as lighting goes, uh, up oh, there's one last one. I have included a light on this side because I traditionally always show up late at a campground and I put this light on with the switch inside from the factory so I can see what I'm doing over here. And that's what I've done so far. All right, hopefully you found something that might help make your tiny home a little more comfortable. And if any of you guys wanna come do these for me, I'm ready for you. So here's to customizing your tiny home. Love and light.